Welcome to today's Practice Advantage Pearl. We're delighted to have Dennis Whipperling with us, a seasoned healthcare leader from a number of different settings, including multi-specialty clinics, single specialty clinics, integrated health delivery systems, community-based hospitals, and not to forget also academic centers. Today, we're asking Dennis, who is currently the leader at a practice in St. Paul, Minnesota, a single specialty practice in St. Paul, Minnesota, to talk about physician leadership and what physician leadership can mean. You've heard that adage, anyone can captain a ship in a calm sea, and we're certainly in for some turbulent times or some change times when it comes to practice management for physicians and the businesses that they run, whether it's hospital-based or in their own independent practice. Dennis. Can you share some ideas with us about how to really navigate those turbulent seas when it comes to having a great physician leader in front of the group? Dale, you probably are very familiar with the late Peter Drucker, who uh, was an influential writer and a management consultant. And he defined the difference between management and leadership uh, in this way. Management is about uh, doing things right Leadership is about uh, doing the right thing. Uh, leaders um, set the tone within the organization. Uh, so physician leaders, um, uh, they, they really set the tone. They define the culture. And let me just talk just for a minute about culture. Culture is how things are done, uh, how things get, you know, how they're done, uh, how people act, kind of the, the acceptable behavior maybe would be a better way to describe it. Um, uh, culture is kind of almost created by some unwritten rules. Um, for example, if, um, if um, the organization is friendly, uh, you know, very courteous, uh, supportive of each other, uh, really positive, um, that really kind of defines a culture. Um, and, and the organization will stay that way because individuals uh, won't allow or tolerate anything uh, separate from what the, what the culture is. So again, the important thing is that the physician leader uh, kind of sets the tone and they create the culture or they influence uh, the culture. Uh, the other thing that's really important is that physician owners of practices um, are really looked at as leaders, whether they're in a formal designated leadership role or, um, or not. Um, and so it's really important for physician uh, owners to understand uh, whether they see themselves as a leader of the organization or not, just the fact that they're owners, they assume that role. Um, depending upon various organizations, the size of the organizations, um, physician leader roles may be clearly defined. And the other thing um, that I think is important for uh, organizations, and particularly going back to my comments about the physician owners, is that sometimes there's an informal leader who uh, staff go to, who others look to for kind of direction. Um, and it's important, too, that uh, organizations kind of understand, you know, uh, the roles and define the roles and that those physician owners and informal leaders really kind of understand that their actions, uh, what they do, uh, really does also set the tone and contribute to the culture of the organization. For me, I've had... Um, the opportunity to work with some really outstanding physician leaders. Um, and before I talk about them, I want to just talk a little bit about characteristics of a leader. Uh, if you go on the internet and, uh, and just do a search of uh, characteristics of leaders, uh, you'll see words such as sincerity, integrity, uh, humility, uh, knowledge, wisdom, fairness, uh, approachability. Um, those, those are all kind of the terms that uh, define a uh, leader. Um, and, and I hope I can kind of drive home um, some more of the characteristics of a leader through my examples um, of, um, of uh, two or three physician leaders that I've had the, the distinct uh, privilege to work with. Uh, they all kind of, and I'm going to share with you kind of the characteristics that they all had because I think uh, to me, that is what uh, made them uh, very successful leaders. Uh, first of all, um, uh, they uh, were, you know, they, they are approachable um, individuals. Uh, they, uh, they listen, uh, and, th and they're very caring in a sincere way. They seem to go out of their way to, um, to know the names of all the staff um, 
within the, the organization, and they acknowledge those staff. Um, and it's amazing. You can just see um, when the physician leader walks by and says, good morning, Sally, you can just see um, you know, what that does in terms of motivating um, and, and helping uh, and helping Sally uh, kind of get on with her day and, and, uh, and to have a good day. Um, these physician leaders are very clear about the priorities uh, of the organization, and, and they understand um, what the purpose or mission of the organization is. They, they understand uh, what the vision, what, what the organization is striving to become. And they also understand the values of the organization. Um, and, and their decisions and actions are consistent with the organization's mission, the vision, and the values. Um, because I think they realize and understand that, that any of their action that would be inconsistent uh, would, would, would only compromise um, uh, those uh, on behalf of the organization. Um, these physician leaders also understood their role uh, as a leader. Uh, they did not micromanage. They stayed clear of management issues. And, and because these physician leaders are very approachable, staff uh, quite often are comfortable coming to them and they understand their role is not to solve uh, the employee's problem, uh, but to listen and then direct them uh, to the appropriate management person or, uh, or supervisory person within the organization uh, to deal with those. Physician uh, leaders, you know, in an organization uh, are the ones that motivate, they inspire, and, and they are aware, um, again, of, what, uh, uh, of what's important for the organization. They have the organization's interests uh, really as a top priority. And they make sure that um, the organization is, uh, uh, is really kind of doing the right things.